Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 13 of our Uncharted Expeditions Let's Play series, where today we are entering the Bumble Zone. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another dreary day here in the world of the Andrada, where it's raining and life is woe. But life is actually good because we're doing pretty good and we're, we got stuff and things that we need to work on. Um, in between episodes there, I went back into the nether and continued exploring that bastion that we had. Uh, really didn't find terribly too much in there. I found the chest plate with thorns too. Um, that's in a cave tablet from Alex's caves, which we've already had one of those before. It's floating around here somewhere. Who knows where at this point? Because all semblance of order of my drawers and everything has literally gone out the complete window. Who, who knows where anything is at? Um, we did loot this hyper box um, last episode, and I have no idea what this thing is. I'm a little hesitant to actually uh, use it anywhere other than maybe over here, because I know that like over here, I'm not going to die. So like what is, oh, create a hyper box dimension. What? So it's a dimension. Save and enter, save and exit. Okay. I'm nervous about this. I'd like... I'm nervous. Should we go into the hyperbox? I don't know what I'm going to expect here in this thing. As I move, it changes what it looks like. Um, Somebody tell me not to do this. I want to get my caramel going. By the way, I made the steampunk armor again, so I have... Double jump and no fall damage and all that stuff. But what am I going to do with this hyper box? What does this do? I don't know. Should I look it up before I go in there? It's probably a good idea. Or should we just 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 wing it and just do it? Uh, wing it. Save and enter. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, we can get out. Oh, it's just a, it's just a dimension. And we can access any of those to get out. Oh, okay. It's just a, uh, uh, a compact machine, essentially. Is compact machines in this? No. Okay, so the Hyperbox is a compact machine. This one's called Wing It. Can we break it and rename it? If I break it? Is it still say wing it? Yeah. Okay. So this is our wing it um, box. Okay. Okay. Whew. I thought it was going to be something sketch. That's actually pretty cool, though. We could build stuff inside of there. Um, and yeah, it uses bedrock, you know, because bedrock's unbreakable on like compact machines, which uses compact machine walls. But it's essentially the same thing. Also, it kind of looked lit up in there. But again, my brightness, uh, the brightness in this pack is kind of funky. So not entirely sure if it was actually lit up, but it could have been. Uh, caramel block, tell me that you can be broken back down into the caramel. Tell me I didn't just. Oh, are you kidding me? It it compacted the four into a block. Why? Why does that have to be a thing? Why is that a thing? So now I have to take this and toss it into here and then cook this guy up. So that way it can put it back into liquid caramel. That's fine. Then I can take this and put it over here and let it turn into bars again. Kind of dumb, but it is what it is. All right. I don't like the rain. Nothing much I can do about the rain, though. Okay, it looks like uh, grabbing that reset that immediately, which is kind of nice. I don't know if it's actually resetting immediately or if the animation is just disappearing. It doesn't seem to be as if it resets immediately because it's not going much faster than it was before. I should just do the whole cogwheel thing on the other side or on this side, too. That way I can uh, have all these go faster. If I'm going to have it stick out and be ugly, I might as well have it stick out and be ugly on both sides. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then that way we have, you know, full ugliness everywhere. And full speed ahead. 
Anyway, uh, so we got caramel. Great. That's what we wanted. Uh, caramel is going to be used to allow us to get our spout. Uh, the spout is going to be a caramel casing. And all we have to do is deploy it onto our crab bucket, um, which we have. Oh, speaking of crabs, let's pop down here and check out this guy. Yeah, shrimp is good to go. Now, we got one of the silver, or the one star shrimp. But we didn't, or the iron tier, but we didn't get any of the other shrimp, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but we'll make it work. Let's go ahead and throw these onto the cooking pad, the skillets. Nope, they can't be cooked, but I bet you they can be boiled. Uh, we can go ahead and clean up inventory a little bit. That can go into there. These guys can go here. And then these guys will be able to get cooked on the skillet. Uh, had a little skeleton plush, so I threw him down. So we're working on making ourselves our spout. We're going to want our spout and we're going to want, I guess, do we need a fluid tank? Like, I don't, I don't know. Let's start without the fluid tank. Let's get the faucet here. And a stick. Because it says that by using, utilizing the faucet, we don't need to make the, like, you don't need the pipes and all that stuff. The faucet can handle the item transportability. So I'm interested to see what does that look like. We need a barrel. Should be fairly simple to do. Let's grab ourselves some uh, some planks. All my other planks are down there. Barrel. It's been a while since I made a barrel. Your planks, right? Or slabs. Barrel, barrel, barrel. Okay. That's going to get me the fluid tank. And then the spout is going to be the caramel casing. Uh, and a kelp. Now, I do have kelp somewhere in one of these uh, drawers somewhere. Kelpie, kelpie, kelpie. Uh, there's some kelp. So I just need one dried kelp. I need to plant that kelp is really what I should do. It's going to be an absolute waste of coal here. So what I'll do is go ahead and let it smelt up some smooth stone once it's done with that. Okay, so that way at least the coal itself isn't wasted. Okay, so that's the kelp. And then we need the caramel casing, which is going to require this. We do still need to figure out the um, chain mail, but we can make the encased fan. I don't think that's going to be too difficult. Four iron plates. If anything, we have the iron. Um, we can make that happen. Get another depot. Get some soul soil or soul sand, which we have um, some of both. Light it on fire. I think we can make that happen fairly easily um that's pants that's a helmet that's boots thank you there we go okay that goes away and can we sleep through this okay finally it is night we can get this rain gone so we can at least get something done okay Let's pop down here and see what we can get going. So we have four bars of caramel. I do have my little crab barrel, right? So we need to get our crab barrel. Uh, and then it was offhanding this. Turns it into a caramel casing, which is the copper age, apparently. Now, we did need two of these to get smashed for the fluid tank. So let's throw those there. Okay. And we'll keep one bar of caramel in case we need to make another copper casing or caramel casing. Um, I do need to pop back up here because I need to grab my um, honey and the canvas that we have. We should have just enough canvas. I went and sliced up some more stuff to get some more straw. So we should have just enough. Okay, so we got the caramel sheets. Um, so now we need to go ahead and make ourselves the spout. And we're going to make ourselves the tank. And... Now the spout, it says that it, it shows, okay. You can't access the spout manually, but this pump is just to pump the liquid, right? That's not to actually move or put items into the spout. So it seems to me the spout doesn't actually need anything. That's on a depot. Like the spout doesn't need anything special. Depot, thank you. Is that is what I'm saying makes sense? Like I don't need rotational power for the spout. I just need to put the items into the spout. So let's 
Let's test that out. So that goes there. Now the spout is going to sit above, and it says the faucet. The quest line here says uh, the supplementary faucet can transfer fluids between create tanks, spouts, and more. So if I were to get the tank and the faucet, Okay, um, if I put the faucet, say, here, and then the tank attached to it, and then I get these honey bottles. How can I get the honey bottles into, hmm, that's a question. How do I get the honey bottles into a honey bucket? Because right now, item draining, I need an item drain, which is another caramel casing and some iron bars. Okay, so let's get, ah, oh man, that means I need another, and I just cooked up all those shrimp. That was a mistake, wasn't it? So I need another box of uh, fish. Do I have any fish that could make this work for me? Man, I just messed up. Seashell block. I could probably get seashells. No, not you. Nautilus, seashell, lanternfish, pufferfish, tropical fish. I'm not going to read everything. You guys can read as it goes along. Okay, so the seashell block is probably going to be the easiest if I go over to here. Now, but the, see, these are the wrong seashells. These are the seashells that turn into bone meal. Um, the seashells I would need are probably seashells that are in the water. Man, that's a bummer. Either that or I can fish. It's not even you. Yeah, it's probably fishing seashells only. Okay, how else can I get the honey bottle? Maybe, is there another way to extract the honey from the honey bottles? The centrifugal separator, that's not going to happen. Um, nope, nope. You can pack into a honey block. And then a honey block can make sticky honey residue? Nope. Okay. That's mixing honey bucket. And the honey bucket can... See, now here's the question is, does the honey bucket... No, I think I need the item drain. And here's the question. The item drain, once I get that, can that just, does that pipe directly into that? I'm going to need to go fishing is what this is telling me. Item drains can extract fluids from items. Right click it to pour fluids from your held item into it. Items are inserted. It'll empty it. Cool. And then you can pump it out. So I would need another faucet to pump out of the item drain, which at that point, then what do I need the tank for? I would just use the item drain <coughs> to pump into there. Okay, so I need an item drain. Item drain is going to require a caramel casing. Caramel casing is going to require some sort of barrel of fish or animal or some sort. Uh, make sure that there is no other sneaky way to do this. No. No. Okay. So um, let's take a look at the quest chain here for the lazy fisherman. Ah, that requires all of those plus the crab trap. So it doesn't really help anyway. Um, now we can put fish into that thing down there, but we're not going to get like a good amount. Now, you know what? I do have salmon. I can use that with a bucket. Uh, it is a chum bucket, right? The salmon one. And it's bone meal. And that is the closter. Okay. This will get me the clusters. It's just, it's going to be a while for that to happen. We're going to have to wait. Could I go fishing? Yes. Um, maybe we'll do that, uh, on the side. 
We haven't gone fishing at all yet in the series, and I know that we can get some pretty decent um, stuff from fishing. So I guess while we're waiting for that crab trap, let's go fishing and see if we can find anything interesting. Now, a fishing rod. What is the recipe for a fishing rod? I don't think I've ever actually gone fishing in Minecraft before. So this will be interesting to see because I have no idea how it works. Fishing rod. How does Minecraft fishing work? Do I need bait? Do I need to do anything fancy? Or can I just come off of here and go fishing? And then, oh, y'all heard that? That deep base, another star fragment just fell. Okay, so then what? I'm assuming the bobber is going to go down. And then when it goes down, I can do the thing. I could probably just kill those fish right there to TBH. This takes forever, doesn't it? Is this not a valid fishing location? Are those fish not the fish that I'm fishing for? Hello? Got it. I got a raw cod. Okay, and this, take, this is going to take forever. I got a puffer fish. Okay. How about I just, uh, how about I just do this? And then we get nine salmon. Yeah. How about, how about we just be smart about this, the Indrana? There's literally plenty of fish in the sea here for you. Except for the fact that some of them, well, I can, I can downgrade them. That's fine. Get over here. Okay. Yeah, I can downgrade the fish to make the nine that I need, and then we're okay. I think that's nine, eight, and two. Yes, and then we can just do that to downgrade it. Bam. Perfect. Now we got a bucket of fish, or a, a fish barrel, or whatever the heck this thing is called. Um, fishy, fishy. Do the thing. Barrel of salmon. Do that. Offhand that. Give me that. Okay, cool. Caramel casing. Now we just need some iron bars. Do I have iron on me? I do not. So we are heading back up. Iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. There we go. Might as well just make the drain. And we got a drain. Okay. Item drain available, drained, or able to drain. So let's go ahead and pop the item drain. Turn the faucet off. No. Excuse me. Attach to the faucet. Build myself up. And then those are all draining. Okay. And then they flip themselves over there. That's entertaining. I'm just trying to stay just by the edge of it so that I don't pick them up. Okay. So, give me those and give me that and give me that. Now, if I hit the drain, does it go into here? Okay. So now that went into there. So if I take canvas, if I put the canvas on here, does it just do it? Yes. Okay, good. And we're getting our woven fabric. Okay, that is what I wanted to see happen. Let's create a little bit of stairs to get up there. We can drop the rest of this honey on there. And it's doing the thing. Okay. And we are getting the fabric, and that's what we want. And I can just flip those straight into my inventory. We have some extra honey. Well, we don't, actually. I need to drop all of that. Because we need all of that in order to get as m the woven fabric that we are going to need. Okay. A little bit of a convoluted process, but it works, right? Like, can't complain about it. It worked fine. We got it going. And we're satisfied. And we have a little bit of extra honey, apparently, because I made extra. Almost a whole bucket of honey extra. Okay. That's good in case I miscounted. It's likely that I did. So we'll uh, 
we'll keep that. So we got the woven fabric. Now with the woven fabric, we can go ahead and make ourselves our armor. However, if you remember correctly, we were missing one item in order to do so. I'd like to move this, actually. This is fine, and we're going to need this for the when we do the um, white chocolate. But I want, I'd like that to turn. I want it to face the back. It can only face one direction. That's lovely. Okay. Well, never mind then. It doesn't matter what side I'm putting that on. It's only facing that way. Okay. Um, cool. Item drain. You can go back on there and we're good. All right. So that takes care of that. And we ended up with a fluid tank that we don't need. We can just throw that into here. Bada bing, bada boom. We're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and get these iron boots. Our next step. We got that. 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 Um, we need to get ourselves a fan, which is going to require four iron plates and a andesite casing and a shaft. So now we have a fan going. And the fan uh, is going to require rotational power, of course. Uh, but with the fan, we'll be able to haunt um, the boots. And I don't need to have a really intense setup for this. I just need to have something that's going to work for me. So do I have any... Um, we'll take this depot, actually, too, so we can use that to haunt. Do I have a gearbox or two? Do I happen to have two gearboxes? No, but I have extra depots, actually, so I don't need to uh, take that one. Um, no, I don't have any other gearboxes. Honestly, I wonder if I could just crank it and not have to worry. If I crank a encased fan, does that generate enough power to do the thing? It's spinning the wrong direction, though. It's sucking instead of blowing. So what I need to do is put a gearbox there and then crank it. Okay, that might work. Let's do this, this, this. We're going to go ahead and place it up one block. Put the fan here. We need soul sand here. We need a depot here. And we need our boots here. We're going to light the soul sand. Bam, now we have soul fire. We are going to place the gearbox here we are going to get the crank and crank it and see if this works the boots might need to be up one level that would be my only thing that i that might need to happen nope bada bing bada boom we got chainmail boots process complete without even having to do anything crazy didn't even have to hook it up to our network i liked that eventually we would want to but didn't need to now and that's okay Let's go ahead and put any of the create stuff that we have away. Um, clean up inventory. I'm going to go grab our stuff and we'll be back. Okay. We have all of our chain mail, all of our fabric. Let's go ahead and craft our Bumble Zone gear. Beekeeper's hood. Beekeeper's jacket. Beekeeper's pants. And beekeeper's boots. Bada bing, bada boom. We are heading to the Bumble Zone. I like it. Okay. There were a lot of things that just finished and popped up. So what were all of those? Okay. Uh, Keeper of the Bees. Beekeeper suit. It allows, gives you access to the Bumble Zone. Um, don your beekeeper suit and take a leap into the unknown by tossing an ender pearl at a bee nest. This is your ticket to the Bumble Zone. To return to the overworld, navigate through the beehive beeswax found at the very top or bottom of the dimension. It's your way back to familiar ground from this buzzing realm. Okay, so, yeah, or, again, we run into the issue of we don't have a um, waystone available to us. Need more waystones, man. Can we, is there a way to craft waystones? Recipe, using a warp stone, which is some amethyst and four enderpearls. I don't have enough enderpearls. 
crafting one of those would be nice or just having some way to like teleport back home from our hand any pearls grown on any of you guys hey uh mr plague doctor here what do you got for me reduces chance of getting plague very rare drop transforms a plague doctor into the black death i probably want to buy that do i have enough emeralds for that it's probably something that i would want to buy i'm going to assume the black death is an important mob i have 32 emeralds on the dots i don't have an emerald block somewhere in here too yeah so we can trade for some more stuff hello mr Plague Doctor. Now, I'm going to assume that Black Death is probably going to be a tough thing to fight, so I'm not going to fight the Black Death. Um, this mysterious rat fragment, maybe? Eventually, we'll set up some sort of uh, trade. Mysterious token fragment makes a mysterious token chunk, which is how we get to the portal to Ratlantis. I would need 81 total of these. So... Those come from those tiny coins that we have been getting. And tiny coins come from guano blocks, 10% chance, or loot fabricating um, those guys. I do, Sorry, but I do need to kill your rats. Because I need their corpses. You made me chop down all my ender tendrils there, buddy. I need the raw rat. Like, it's part of the quest. Ender tendrils gone. Okay. Sorry, friend. But I needed your I needed your rats. Sorry. And I got some leads out of it, too. Okay, now let's clean up inventory again. Uh, and everything just gets shoved into wherever it, wherever it so fits at this point. Again, as we said, uh, we have no our goal. We need to get this storage taken care of. That's 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 where we're at. All right, let's put the bee armor on. Don your bee suit and throw an ender pearl into a bee nest and head into the bumble zone. I'm assuming these are bee nests, not beehives, right? Okay. Oh, look, this one finally had a bee. Um, we don't have any way to get back because we don't have the, um, what's it called? Uh, we don't have a waystone. So it says that we have to dig up or down to get ourselves back. So just something to keep in mind. But let's go ahead and teleport into the Bumble Zone. Enter the Bumble Zone. Now, do we have a quest chain for the Bumble Zone? Ooh, looks fancy here. Check out the advancement tab for everything on the mod, including progression and how to play. Did we unlock a new quest for the Bumble Zone? We did. Look, we finally have unlocked our first set of new quests in the pack. Welcome to the Bumble Zone. Stepping inside a beehive reveals a world far larger than expected with vast expanses of honeycombs and numerous bee-themed structures awaiting exploration. To return home from this dimension, you have two options. Delve below Y0, you won't die from falling into the void, or go above Y256. Either path will safely teleport you back. Good for us to know. Um, lots of quests here. Feed the beast, honey compasses are found as loot, key discovering mazes. We're going to have to read all of this. Um, uh, crystalline flowers. This is what we wanted with sugar water. Um, source from the bumble zone by waterlogging a honey crystal block. Beyond its structural uses, accelerate sugarcane growth. Yep, we knew that. Gingerbread, cocoa butter. That's the hard part is the cocoa butter. Though, See, look, and it wanted the crushing wheels, but look, this is showing me the basin and basin lid. Um, though crushing wheels would usually do the job for extracting the rich fatty cocoa butter, we'll resort to a simpler meta method for now. Pressure cooking the crushed beans in a basin with a lid. Good. That's I wanted that because then we don't have to get into the crushing wheels to do the whole process because the crushing wheels are going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, so I like that we have this option here. Definitely going to go that route, which gets us to the white chocolate casings. Jetpacks, flight of bumblebees. Wow, this is intense. There are hostile mobs, a rootman. There are honey slimes, and there's just normal bees and everything like that. Uh, pile of pollen, porous honeycomb block. This place looks intense. We are definitely, these blocks also look ginormous. Um, definitely going to be exploring this. There's spiders in cave spiders, even, even better. Just, just what I always love to find is cave spiders. There's a lot of pollen here. Um, I need to read through the quests to figure out what it is that we need to be doing here and what we're looking for. Um, let's take out this honey slime, I guess, and see what kind of loot we get from these guys. I feel like I'm slowed. 
I guess that it would make sense because the ground is sticky, right? Because of the pollen. Uh, but all we get is from those is slime balls. I was, I was hoping we get some like special honey or something. Now the pile of pollen gets us pollen puffs and then the porous honeycomb block. Can we utilize this for anything? You make beehives. Filled with holes, you can store honey into this block with honey bottles or honey buckets. Pollinated bees touching this block will fill it with honey automatically. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, that looks to me like that's going to be some sugar water there. Taking fall damage. Is this sugar water? Sugar water, good. That's what we, that's honestly what we came here for, was sugar water. Oh, can we, oh, we can make infinite of it. At least here in this dimension, we can have infinite of it. Okay. Maybe back home, we can just set up a water. It is tagged as water. So, oh, that was an Enderman. Lovely. Wasn't aware that there were going to be Endermen here. There we go. Well, got my Ender Pro back at least. Yeah, jumping is weird. Like, when I jump because all this pollen, look at all that. I can't... Uh, can't jump very well. Uh, so I need to read the quests and see what it is that we've got going on for us here. Um, that looks like it's just pouring sugar water. Um, so I will do that. But it is about wrapping up point for this episode. So we will come back next episode and continue our exploration of the Bumble Zone. Interested? There's like a... I didn't realize there's a vignetting going on uh, on the edges of the game. Uh, until we're in this dimension where everything's super bright. Like there's those structures. Oop, that's me. But there's those structures that are up there. I wonder what that is. There's also a bee queen that we're supposed to find. Uh, there's probably going to be some waystones in here maybe. Hopefully we get lucky and find a waystone and everything. But we'll come explore this next episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.